Drink this. Drink that? Why are you just drinking it? Me? It's just lemonade. Are you sure? What is it? It's just lemonade. Just drink it. Okay, I'll have a sip. Limeade. <laughs> <laughs> that was my pee! Hey, ladies. Michael, back off. Positions. <laughs> Football boys. Oh my god! <laughs> Don't move! Put your bag down. Your phone, too. Get down. Smile. Pose. Yeah, I like this one. Yeah, I like yeah. that picture. That yeah. picture's good. Yeah, yeah. Take a few more. What just happened? I have no idea. Oh, it always smells so good in here. Hey, Mr. Dan. Hey, quick question. Did you call another employee dumb? What? No. I said, are you dumb? Like, I was asking. And did you think that was appropriate? Uh, damn sure do. Listen, the way I see it is, life is short. And tomorrow isn't promised. And so they ask, today. Oh, I was about to take my lunch break. Do you mind? Sure, why not? Okay, well, I'm going to use the restroom and make a phone call and then clock out. <laughs> hey, Georgie. <laughs> Check out this advanced beatbox, guys. Bro, what? It's her song. <laughs> Stream now. <laughs> what are you doing? It's for you. Why are you handing me a glass of water? Did I ask for a glass of water? <laughs> no, I just thought you might be thirsty. <laughs> okay. Did you put something in this? You're freaking me out. You're freaking me out. Stop. What is this? Tell me what. Drink it. Drink this. You drink it. You drink. Drink it. What did you do? I don't want to drink of it. Take a drink. I don't want to drink. What did you do to this water? Abby, tell me what you did to this water right now. Abby, stop it. Hey, come back here. Come back. Hey, man, it's a cool mask. Yeah, it's real nice, though. Easy to put on and take off, and it's really easy to breathe. In. Are you eating your this? Is a sugar don't, don't swallow it. What are you doing? What are you eating? What? Another one? Well, like I was saying, now you're going to turn down the tape. 911, what's your emergency? Help, my daughter is stuck in the car. Have you tried opening the door? I can't. I locked my keys in the car. Have you tried telling your daughter to open the door? She can't. She's only seven months. <laughs> you locked your baby inside of a car? It was an accident. I just had to get into the store real quick. Okay, I'm going to tell you what to do. Are you listening? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. All right. Put your hands behind your back because your ass getting arrested. Mm. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Oh no. Oh, oh. Oh. That might hit the camera. Mm. Oh. It's going up? Yep. Oh. Yeah. No, 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 no. Ugh, I would get pulled over my day off. I swear. It's so annoying. <clears throat> Less is a registration. Why, hello, officer. Um, I just got a mani pedi, so like I can't get it. Can you get it? Uh, no, ma'am, I cannot. Well, then you can't have it. I don't want to mess up my nails. Ma'am, I'm not gonna ask you again. Okay, good. Oh my god, <sighs> ma'am, do you know why I pulled you over? Cause you think I'm cute. You ran three red lights and almost hit two kids. 
Oh my gosh, I was texting. I didn't even know. So you're admitting to texting and driving? Uh, yeah. Doesn't everybody? So driving recklessly and texting while driving? You know that's over two grand in fines that I could get you for right now? Are you even listening to me? Hold on, just one more thing. Then, okay, what'd you say? I wasn't listening. All right, ma'am. Can you step out of the vehicle? Um, no. I just told you I got a mini petty, and it's also really hot outside, so I'm gonna roll this window up. Thank you so much. Okay, so Sebastian's in the bank right now, and he literally loves his car. Like, he loves his car maybe even more than me, so I got this, and it's gonna make it seem like his car broke down, so let's get him. I can't wait to see what this sounds like. It might break his car. Let's put it in. Guys, he's coming out of the bank right now. Oh my gosh, he's gonna be so angry at me. I'm sorry, Seb. <gasps> Why does it sound like that? What is that? Lauren, what's wrong with my car? Anywhere. What are you doing? I don't know why it's I'm on the phone with the freaking Mercedes people. He's so mad. Babe, it's a prank! It's a prank! Lauren, the tow truck is on the way. I'm on the phone with them. Okay, guys, so I just took my sister's eyelashes. <laughs> so it was really hard to glue these on, but uh, there was something in her drawer called super glue. It has glue on it, so I just glued it on. <laughs> it's glue that is super, so it's like a hero glue, you know? <laughs> They're not coming up. <laughs> They're super. <laughs> I'm gonna go show my sister. <laughs> hey, sister, look, I got your eyelashes. <laughs> You ran out of glue. No, you did it. Inside your drawer in the middle, there's a glue that says it's super. <laughs> William, that's permanent! It's permanent? Yeah! <laughs> William, that's the glue plastic. What's wrong with you? I know, but I said it was glue and it was super, like a superhero. <laughs> The way that you're driving is making me feel very unsafe. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, what? Why did you break like that? Now you're. Seriously. Now you're just trying to act like me, huh? Are you even considering my health and well-being? Of course I am. Babe. I'm just like I'm kind of concerned, and I feel like the fact that you're not concerned about driving this vehicle. I'm concerned too. Oh my gosh. Babe, can you pick this up? Like, you're just leaving boxes everywhere. I'm tired of being the only one who washes dishes, Julie. It's like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Babe, move. I'm trying to watch Love Island. Move. <laughs> Babe, can you do me a favor? Can you please go give me some coffee? Please. Give me a massage tonight. Let's go. Oh, can't forget about my Invisalign. You expect me to cook, clean, and you just leave a mess here? I'm over it. Mannequin prank. <laughs> oh, honey, you got something in your face. Wipe it off here. Uh. Hold still. Uh. There. I think I got it. And she did on you. What? Um, dog ate your shoe. Sound like you said you cheated on me. No. The, do the dog ate your shoe. What the heck, dude? Uh. Dude. Okay, we decided to have an office pamper day. I you ready, Con? You ready? ready. ready. Bed, bed, bed. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh. William, show everybody what your Halloween costume is going to be. Ready? Oh my I have a piece of frosting. <laughs> William, you're poop. No, I'm ice cream. <laughs> William, you do realize you can't be poop for Halloween. Frosting. It is poop. You're dyslexic. This is a frosting. And you're poop. How'd it taste? <laughs> William, where
Where did you get this? Oh, I got it off of Walmart. Of course, it's from Walmart. Papa, you like my frosting? I don't think he likes your poop. No, this is frosting. You smell bad. He's not. You smell bad. Really? <laughs> really? Really? Give me a minute. Give me the dog. Give me the dog. William, relax. No, no if you William. think I'm a piece of no. poop, it got back. William, stop. Poop. William, you kind of I'm are poop. poop. You're like literally poop. Literally poop. I'm not poop. Did you know that your birth month can actually have an effect on which career path you choose? January babies have this mindset that they're natural born leaders, so they tend to do well in jobs where they're in charge or have high prestige, the most popular of which are general practitioners and debt collectors. People born in February are creative and unconventional, which means that they have a hard time with that nine to five job, which is why a surprisingly high amount of you guys become artists. But if you're born in February and you're not that artistic, you could become a traffic cop. There's a lot of you guys. It's a little weird. March babies do best when they have a career that can entertain people. This is why a lot of you guys become musicians. But you also have the highest number of airplane pilots. Maybe it's the intercom and the cheesy jokes before the flight. Where are my April babies at? I f***ing love you guys. We are the most ambitious and career driven. We're the actual natural born leaders. Even though we have the most alcoholics, we have the most politicians, and we tend to do well in whatever the f*** we choose. Did you know that your birth month can actually have an effect on which career path you choose? May babies, you guys are intelligent and logical most of the time, which means that you want a job that requires a lot of management skills. The most popular for your month are politicians, scientists, and business people. People born in June are the visionaries. They're imaginative and creative, and they want to make the world around them a better place, which is why you guys have the most CEOs and Nobel Prize winners. People born in July, while intelligent, tend to work better with their hands, which is why the most common career choices for you guys are bricklayers, train conductors, and artists. August babies thrive in environments where they're moving fast and working hard, which is why you guys also ranked really high in bricklayers, but also president of the United States.